So in this particular video, we will be talking about Conf2D in PyTorch. So if you open the documentation here, you can see that um, Conf2D is basically used in CNN for uh, doing the convolution operation on the uh, images. So you can see torch.nn.conf2D and you can see there are so many parameters over here. Okay, so obviously um, we'll not be covering all of those in the first video itself. I think there'll be at least two, if not three, and most probably there'll be three videos for this. And in this, uh, we'll try to cover this much, okay? Uh, so we'll cover the in channels, we'll cover the out channels, we'll also cover kernel size, and we will also cover stride, okay? In the next videos, we'll be covering the other things. So what is convolution? Very, very simple. It is given over here. It applies a convolution, 2D convolution over an input signal composed of several input planes. We'll see what are input, input planes. Generally, let's say if you are working with a colored image, you have RGB. So RGB are uh, three planes, so basically three input planes. So basically in, uh, in channels is what I, uh, what I have understood this okay um, don't worry we will uh, clear for clarify that in the simplest case the output layer value of uh, the output value of the layer with input size this so n is the number of images c in is the number of channels so for example if you're using a color channel so rgb h is the height of the image and w is the width of the image the output is everything else remains the same oh, sorry the number of uh, images remains the same uh, C out uh, is basically the number of out channels and H out is the uh, you know uh, height of the output uh, feature map or image whatever you want to say and uh, W out is the out of uh, is the width of the uh, output okay and it is precisely described as simple uh, this is described as a bias function and a bias term is there and then there is some input term so uh, what does this mean is let me show you on a diagram so uh, what you need to do basically is let's say you have an image that is uh, let's say this is uh, 5 plus 5 okay so 1 2 3 and 4 so here you have four lines over here and here you're gonna have four lines as well so 1 2 3 and 4 so pardon my drawing so this is 5 plus 5 okay these are five uh, uh, five columns over here and five rows over here so five this is five and this is also five okay now let's say you have a kernel kernel is um, three cross three so let's take this particular kernel okay you have this cross so this is three and this is also three so what you do over here in uh, in convolution is basically you take this particular kernel and place it on the first place okay place it on the first place which is that there are three cross three so here from the start you'll take three cross three obviously they can be padding and other things but basically this is what you do and then you do a element wise multiplication okay element wise multiplication so these weights are uh, for a cnn these are uh, randomly initialized so let's say w naught w1 w2 and top 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 up to w8 over here and you will also have a bias term okay you will also have a bias term with with every kernel you'll have one bias term so nine weights and one bias term that is how it is going to work and you do a dot multiplication over here and whatever is the answer you put it in the center so let's say uh, obviously if you do like this uh, you will have one center two center and three centers right um, we cannot over cross so that the last will be the kernel will be placed over here so five cross five if you convolve with a three cross three your the answer is going to be uh, the answer is going to be 3 cross 3 itself, okay? So, um, it depends on uh, the formula, basically. Uh, we, uh, I will introduce the formula once we are uh, done with padding and stuff, okay? So, um, basically, you just need to see in how many places you can keep a kernel and wherever you can keep a kernel fully inside the image, you get a center. Uh, so, the, uh, if you go at the bottom, this is the bottom where... Uh, this, this part, sorry. Uh, this part. Um, is the bottom and uh, bottom leftmost and the last part where you can put your kernel is over here okay so here so that's why i said three cross three now let's get back over here so uh, i hope you understood these are if let's say there are three cross three so there are three weights and one particular bias okay and if you there's one more kernel let's say of the same shape so you will again have three cross three uh, three cross uh, three so this line will be there plus another bias so this is how it will happen okay so the bias term is over here and uh, simple as, as i said uh, these weights are basically your kernel weights 
and the input is basically your input image at that particular position you will do a, a, a dot multiplication and then add a bias and that will be the output for that particular position okay <clears throat> where star is the valid 2d color uh, cor, uh, cross correlation so in uh, theory what happens is uh, in convolution okay actually here we don't do convolution we do something called as cross correlation okay i'll explain the difference is very subtle okay it's very small convolution what you do you take uh, just as i explained you take this particular uh, thing and just put it on the image this is cross correlation but in convolution what happens you just rotate this particular kernel by 90 degree and do the same thing now the idea is if these weights are already learnable what is the use of doing 90 degree there is no use and so instead of convolution we um, in, we actually do cross correlation where we do not have to bend this 90 degree so you know let's say if this is there uh, this is the kernel again if you flip it 90 degree so this particular will come over here this particular edge will come over here because we clockwise rotated the uh, kernel 90 degree okay and uh, let's say this particular one okay so this particular one is going over here why it is also rotated 90 degree but the idea is we are not doing convolution even though we say convolution neural network we are not doing convolution we are doing cross correlation okay so i hope you have understood that n is the batch size i already said c is the number of number of channels h is the height of the input uh, input planes in pixels and w is the width basically of the image okay so what are in channels in channels is basically the number of channels that is already there in the image batch so let's say you have a batch of images let's say there are 16 batch uh, um, uh, to say uh, 16 images but let's say even uh, it, it's valid even for one image so let's say you have uh, one single image so let's say it is rgb so it's 224 cross let's say 256 so this is the number of channels here is this is so rgb here it is three so let's say uh, it is uh, three and then this is the as they said this is the height and this is the width of the image okay so this is the number of channels um uh height and width yes correct okay i was just confused whether it's width and height or height or width okay now let's say what if what if we have a grayscale image so you will have one cross 224 cross 256 why this is only one channel so here in rgb three channels grayscale one channel but there is no limitation okay it can be like uh, 21 channels also so 224 cross 256 okay so a number of channels does not matter it can be anything it is basically one channel is one simple whatever number of rows and number of columns are there okay it can be uh, so if you have this is one channel okay one, uh, second channel is basically the same thing with the same height and width but uh, with a different plane at the back so if you just put it so there this, all this okay these are three channels this is four channels and every channel is uh, let's say height cross width so this is height height cross width this is also height cross width all of them have to be same they cannot be different okay so they are just stacked together in the depth, depth dimension i hope you understand the concept of convolution very very clearly okay so let's uh, so this is in channels what is out channels in channels is basically what is the uh, what is the number of uh, uh, depth dimension depth dimension in the input so what is out channels depth dimension in the output this is not your batch dimension batch dimension is number of images number of images this is different this is number of channels okay so your colored images have three channels your um, grayscale image has one channel but uh, you know there can be like 21 any number any n okay not negative okay it should not be negative it should not be zero any number greater than one is greater than uh, greater than equal to one is okay okay so that is the idea so number of uh, out channels is basically number of channels in the output number of channels in the output after convolution operation after convolution operation is going to be your is going to be your out channels okay i hope you are clear with this okay so let's get back over here so that was out channels kernel size kernel size i think it's i have already explained right kernel size is over here this is three cross three you see three rows and three columns so kernel size you can either uh, just put it like this 
kernel size kernel size you can just say 3 so this means a 3 cross 3 3 cross 3 if you have let's say kernel size equal to 4 you will have 4 cross 4 generally we only use square kernels I'm not sure whether you can have other kernels as well but let's see if you can go back over your kernel tuple I think you can have okay I think you can have even multiple size kernels okay kernel size of 0 yeah kernel size of 0 which means uh, you can have kernel like 3 cross 4 also but generally not 3 cross 4 uh, we generally do not use even numbers in kernel okay now I cannot think of a way this will not work it can work but what I have seen is that odd numbers are mostly preferred so you will have 3 cross 3 you can have 5 cross 5 you can have 7 cross 7 okay I have never heard uh, 6 cross 6 might be in some uh, number because most of the papers the relevant papers that I have heard they have only odd size now here you can also have 5 cross 7 okay so that's not a big deal you can also have a different size but let's say if you say kernel equal to 3 it will be if you say kernel equal to 3 it will be assumed 3 cross 3 3 comma 3 okay uh, so yeah that is there after that what do we have stride is there uh, stride yeah padding i'll do in the next video because i think this video is already 10 minutes so i don't want to create longer videos i have actually stopped creating very long videos you know uh, because i don't want the retention graph to look something like top okay i don't want this so i want some good enough retention graph even if i have to cut it over here at 10 minutes i don't have a problem but this is not going to add anything I can make another video so even if it remains like the same so this part will actually not look like this this part is going to look again like this okay so yeah I so essentially it will look like this and then again like this and instead this part will be over here okay hopefully you understood okay this was a little bit um, outside of the domain but we'll go back to stride okay so we need to con uh, talk about stride so let's look over here only what is stride okay stride controls stride controls the stride of the co cross correlation a single number or a tuple i will explain don't worry stride again over here stride of the convolution fine stride is simple stride is let's say you had a 5 cross 5 image okay so 1 2 3 4 and then again here 1 2 3 and 4 when I talked about the normal convolution, what was happening? You first place the kernel over here. In the second iteration, you put place the kernel over here. And then you place the kernel over here. Okay. And after that, you took one step down and did the same thing. You put the kernel over here. Then you put the kernel over here, one step to the right, over here. Then again, one step to the right again. And then over here. In the last step, what did you do? You put the kernel over here again and after that you put the kernel over here and lastly you put the kernel over here so this is three times in one row and how many rows are there three so i mean uh, in four convolution obviously there are five rows but for convolution there are only three so that's nine times so your output will be again three cross three it will have nine values now what if you say stride equal to one in one case only so what happens is the kernel will again we will draw this one two three four and then one two three and then four first obviously it will be over here first over here but in this in this case if stride equal to let's say two okay stride equal to one is not no, stride equal to two so what it will do it will skip one okay it will skip this it will come directly over here so in this case you will get and let's say this year or this here also is two so it will skip and it will come over here this and then again skip this and this so here instead of 3 cross 3 you'll get 2 cross 2 why because because of stride of 1 a, one particular row was skipped so a stride of 2 one particular row was skipped again in here also if stride is 2 one particular row is skipped okay so instead of 3 cross 3 you'll get a 2 cross 2 as an answer so stride again can be a single uh, tuple uh, single uh, integer so if say stride equal to 2 it means 2 comma 2 but if you say stride equal to 2 comma 3 it means in the in the x-axis it will be 2 stride but in the 3 2 rows will be skipped and uh, the third row will be taken if let's say images images below also okay so basically it will skip two row is to skip one particular row over here and uh, basically yeah it will skip one row and go ahead 
and stride is two if here it will skip two rows and go to the third so that is uh, stride okay so i'll keep it to here in this particular video i'll not go into padding and padding mode dilation groups group groups is important but even though not that useful i have never used it but the concept seems interesting just like label encoding but yeah i'll keep this much for this particular video if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you very much and